Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Blaine's uh, compositing and translucency uh, uh, transition to uh, composite an explosion. Okay, the first thing you want to do is, if you're actually going to blow something up, okay, all I have to blow up is this poor bird, you have to have a before and after kind of thing in your video. So I already bit, uh, edited this by cutting out, you can see it's split here, by cutting out the part of the video that shows the bird flying away, actually hopping up the branch and leaving. So it's one minute the bird is here and one minute oh, it's gone. Now I'm going to put the explosion right here where the split is and also the transition first. Here's the explosion I've chosen. I've, I got this from the clip archive and I put a link to it in the description of the video. Just click and drag it down here to the split and turn it loose. There it is. Now you're going to have to fiddle with the length, you know, make it longer, make it shorter, but for now you can leave it like that. Also notice there's a big gap here in the audio. So we're going to need to add, and I already have a flashbang. I got these from Sound Bible. Okay, and I'm going to put this down here in the audio music track so it goes with that. Next we need our transition. Click on transitions and I have a lot so excuse me while I uh, search for it. There it is. Compositing A add B. A is the video clip on the right or excuse me left. B is the explosion, the muzzle flash, the whatever you're going to add that will be the clip on the right. Click on your transition and drag it down here to the split. That will be a transition track. Notice how it automatically pulls in. If you want, it to, if you want the, the explosion to happen any sooner in that first video clip, click on the transition and then just drag it in. The other thing you're going to have to do is click and shorten that transition. And then take your sound and line up your sound with your clip. Let's see what that looks like now. We have the bird feeding on fruit. Okay, the sound was sooner than the other thing. Let's uh, move this out. I'm just going to remove the transition. Here's my clip. Let's make it a little longer. Let's make our flesh bang a little longer. You have to fiddle with it. There's no way anything, excuse me, there's no way anything ends up perfect the first time. Go back down, find your A comp B transition, put it in, click on it, pull it over as far as you want it to be. There we go. And put your sound of your explosion over there. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, the sound still came in too early. So let's slide the sound back a little bit. Try her again. Sound was still in there too early. We're going to slide her back. And try her again. There we go. And then the bird is gone. Now there are other... Uh, there are other, let me add another one here that I like better, Flash Gordon. I'm going to remove my transition. I'm going to right click and remove that. I'm going to add this other composite. Bring my transitions down. Go back to A Comp B. Add it in. Oh, this is real long. Click. Drag it up. And you, you know, you can coordinate it with parts of the video, etc. All right. Now let's see what this one looks like. It's gone. Okay. Anyway, basically that's how you do it. It takes a little tweaking, etc., etc.